Hello, today I am going to show you guys how to add an ancestor to your family tree on Family Search. Your screen may look a little different than mine if you are on a phone or an iPad because I'm on a computer. I found that if you want to add ancestors to your family tree, then it's a lot easier to do with a computer. This is the main family search screen once you log in. So from here, you just go to the family tree by clicking family tree up at the top and going down to the tree. And then it doesn't always take you right to the tree. Sometimes it goes to stuff like a fan chart, but it will be easier if you go to landscape view. So if you click that drop down and then choose landscape, then it will take you there. And then, if you click these arrows over to the right, they'll go back a few generations at a time. And you can keep doing that, and just keep going until you get to the person that you want to get to. And then, under a couple, you could just click this pop down that over here says children. If you do that, then it shows any children that they have. So, I'm going to show you guys how to add someone as an ancestor to a family tree. So first I'm going to go to someone's person. Uh, this is called a person page. Um, this person is named Leo A. Graham. And the person page has lots of stuff on it. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, over here it shows stuff like people's name or their birth or their death information and over here it shows that person and then their spouse and over here it shows their parents and then it shows them and any siblings that they have and then over here if they have any children added it shows children so how do you add a new person to family search so I've already found this census record that has Leo A. Graham in it. So I'm going to zoom in a little so that it's easier to read. Okay, and I'm just going to go over here and look for Leo A. Graham's name. And here it says Graham comma Leo. So th this is the family that I'm looking for. And under Graham it, Leo, it says Mary A. And Caroline. So over here, this shows that Mary A is his wife and Caroline is their daughter. But what other information does this record tell us? So census records can tell us information like people's names, genders, family relationships, ages, and occupations. Now I want to take this information that I find here and go and put it into family search. So if you look at Mary right here and go over, there's a lot of stuff. Right here, this F means that she's female. This W means that she's white. This 23 means that she's 23 years old when this took place. This M means that she's married. And this shows that she was born in Tennessee. Now. I want to add all this information to family search. To do that, I go over here and click add spouse. And then this box pops up where you could enter information. So in this first box that says first names, you always enter their first name and middle name. If you look at the census record, it says Mary A. So let's enter that. And then in this box right here you would enter their last name but for women you have to always remember to use the native their maiden name or their last name before they got married and if you look over here at the census record it doesn't show her maiden name so we're just going to leave that box blank for now uh it already selected female because she's married to leo a graham and she's passed away so we're going to select deceased in this area, you could enter birth information and death information. So we're going to enter her birthplace right now. If you go over to the census record, 
it says that she was born in Tennessee. So if you just start typing Tennessee, then out of the options that pick up that show up, you just choose the correct one. And then to add her birth date, uh, if we look at the census record, it just shows that she's 23 when this take when this takes place, but it doesn't show her birthday. So how do we figure that out? If you go up to the title up here, it says it this took place in the 1940, and right here it says that she was 23 years old when this took place. So if you do a little math, then you'll know that she was born sometime in 1917. So, we don't know exactly when she was born in 1917, so we're just going to put about 1917. And then once you enter that information, you could just click next down here, and then create person. Then when that loads, it shows Mary A right here, and she is married to Leo A. Graham. So now if we go to Mary A's person, then the first thing you want to do is go over here to sources so that you could add a source so that people know where you got all your information from. So to do that, just click add source. And then here it says to enter a date. If you go to the census record, it said it was in 1940. So that's what you would put here. And then it wants you to create a title for this source. I'm just going to go over here and copy and paste this information that I got earlier for the title. And then right here it wants a link to the source also. And then if you go down to the bottom and click save. Uh, now there's a source here so that now anyone that wants to see how you got her information, they could just go to this source. Now the last thing you want to do is come up here and click this button that says ordinances with a picture of a temple by it. This will let you see if they have ordinances ready to be done. And right here it shows that I'm able to request all of her ordinances. So what I would do is click request at the top right here to print a card for her and take it into the temple to have a family member do her temple work. And then the next thing that I would do after that is go back to the census record and get all the information for Caroline and add that into family search also. And that's about it. Now you know how to add an ancestor to family search.